Hi and thank you for purchasing this template. This project is compatible with Adobe After Effects version CS6 and above. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to edit it. Please download the delivery zip file and make sure you unpack all the files before opening up the project. Next, go to the template folder and double click on the AEP file to open the project up. Inside the project you will find the 00 main composition and all the editable elements are located in the view change folder. There are a total of 42 screen placeholders. Twelve texts, two avatars, and five media placeholders. There is also separate composition for the logo and the final tagline. We have added markers in the main project, so you can easily see exactly where each media element shows up in the timeline. With the control layer selected, you can press K and J to jump between markers. Now let's import some images for the screens. Select File, Import File, and choose your files. Open up the screen compositions. and drag your images into the timeline. You can delete or turn off the sample layers. The resolution for these screen placeholders is 510 pixels by 1061 pixels. So if you want to prepare your images inside Adobe Photoshop, this is the resolution that you will need to use. Now let's add a media file and a logo file. To add your logo, open up the logo composition and drag your logo file into the timeline. You can press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size if needed. Next, let's take a look at changing the texts. Simply open up any text composition. and double-click on the text layer to edit it. Let's move on to the color control. In the main composition, choose the control layer, and then click on the Effect Controls tab. If you can't see this tab, press F3 to bring it up. There are two background colors in the first part of the project. Click on any color to change it. And two background colors in the second part of the template. You can also change the colors of the shape on which the text is displayed. The base final text refers to the color of the text number 12 background shape.
header color will change the color from the top of the screen. And finally, the logo base will change the color of the background from the last scene of the template. Just a quick note before moving on to rendering. Slide number 27 only shows up briefly in the final composition, so it would be best to not use a complex image for that particular placeholder. Here's how to add music to this project. Select File, Import File, and choose your audio file. Then simply drag it into the main composition. And finally, let's take a look at rendering this project. Select the main composition and choose Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Cube. The default preset, Match Source High Bitrate, will get you good results. You just need to click under the output file to set the destination path of the video and then click on the green play button to start rendering. Thank you for watching this tutorial and good luck with this project.